I'm going to play some audio right quick for you, and then I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. I follow my friends. What's up? Oh, oh. Well, I have a gun. Everybody else. Everybody else. Pull the gun out. I Why understand you? that. Bye, bye, I want everyone out of my store now. He has a gun. I don't give a, a fuck. Get you out of my store now. You just send him out now. there. Hey, 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 don't send him out there when the dude just pulled a fucking I gun out. I want everybody out of my store. And you I better call the fucking cops. Call the cops. He pulled a gun out. I want everyone out. Now. Did you get shot by some crazy Thank you. Damn. You had a gun. 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 Okay, so y'all just heard that audio clip right there. Now, I'm going to go in not only on the guy in the picture, but also the woman that you heard in the store in the uh in the clip. So, first let me go start with him. This man's name is Lloyd Edward Johnson, and he was recently arrested for um, for pulling out a gun on these kids inside of a uh, McDonald's in Minnesota. First off, you shouldn't be eating McDonald's anyway. It's McDeath, but that's besides the point. Now, it says that he also used racial slurs against them as well because these were um, mainly black kids that were there. I think some of them might have been, I'm not sure if they were Middle Eastern or what have you, but they were pretty dark in complexion based on how they looked in the video. And they just arrested him, like I said, because he pulled out a gun. As well as they should have. Now, how long it took them to finally arrest the guy, I'm not entirely sure. But they say he's currently being held at a place called the Hennepin County Adult Detention Center. Uh, Adult Detention Center and charges will be determined by the county's attorney office. Now, my biggest gripe with this whole thing, at first I'm supposed to be mad at the guy for pulling the gun, and I am. But now I'm more mad with the manager. Because... She was about to send all those kids outside of that McDonald's out into the street where this guy was outside because he had already left out of the um the establishment with a gun in his on his on his person where he just was about to pull it out on those kids. And you're about to send them out there where he could possibly shoot them on sight. Are you insane? They need to go after her. They need to bring up charges on her because she put their lives in danger. And you even heard one of the other customers in there. He said, this guy just pulled a gun on these kids and you're about to send them out there into the street where this guy has a gun on him and they can get shot outside. Then you'll have bigger problems on your hand and they should probably try to say, oh, uh, come on, come up with some kind of an excuse as to why um, she uh, why she had to do what she had to do. Like she like this is an, another thing I don't get the contradictory tone. The kids in there told her, this man has a gun, and you want us to go out there? She said, I understand that, but get the fuck out of my store. Hold on, you just contradicted yourself. You just said you understood and then came back with but and told them to leave, and after they just told you, this guy had a gun on him. And he was about to pull it out in the store. And I think that's what made him stop, is because he realized he was inside of a, of a public place. But had they been outside, he would have pulled it out, and he probably would have shot him. And then he would have probably claimed self-defense and all this, that, and the third. So it says, um, one of the victims, 16-year-old Farida Osmond, posted a video on the showdown inside of the Eaton Prairie McDonald's Monday, tweeting McDonald's, is this what you stand for? We were just trying to order when this man said racist remark claimed to be touched when he really he pushed a kid as seen on video. And I did look at the video and he was pushed. Um, and he says, uh, pull the gun out on kids and you still kick us out knowing that we are in danger. It says it was liked 11, excuse me, 11,000 times and almost 9,000 people were talking about it. Uh, let's see. Um, it's a lot more uh, to it as well. Like I said, I'll leave the link to the article down in the, in the uh, description below. But goddamn, like I said, now I don't know who I'm more mad at. The guy who pulled the gun or the manager that was about to send them out into the uh out into the public, into the street with that guy who had that gun. They didn't want to go outside because they had a gun on him and she was about to do it anyway. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this. I was already not going to McDonald's in the first place. I don't, like I already told y'all before, I have 
pretty much stopped going to fast food altogether and have been for the last four going on five years. But y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. The links will be in the description. I'll talk to you in the next one.